This is Electric Universe Eyes, and today I wanted to narrate something very interesting that I found called Einstein, Everything is Energy, posted by Nicholas F. Benton 10 months ago. Nicholas states, More intriguing words from Albert Einstein, the world's foremost theoretical physicist, retrieved from the internet. I will insert right here that reading this supports the notion that I came across a few years ago that while Albert Einstein is touted in all of these theories and especially held in some sort of regard in the EU movement, that Albert Einstein was against the EU. My previous studies on Emmanuel Velikovsky showed that Albert Einstein was actually very open-minded. But since he was held up in such high regard on this platform in modern-day scientific acceptance, that he often gets a bad rap. I will digress at this moment and read these quotes from Albert Einstein and let you be the judge. Quote, I didn't arrive at my understanding of the fundamental laws of the universe through my rational mind. End quote. Quote, Concerning matter, we've been all wrong. What we have called matter is energy, whose vibration has been so lowered as to be perceptible to the senses. Matter is spirit reduced to a point of visibility. There is no matter. End quote. Quote, Time and space are not conditions in which we live, but modes by which we think. Physical concepts are free creations of the human mind and are not, however it may seem, determined by the external world, end quote. Quote, time does not exist. We invented it. Time is what the clock says. The distinction between the past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion, end quote. Quote, I think 99 times and find nothing. I stop thinking, swim in silence, and the truth comes to me, end quote. Quote, the intellect has little to do on the road to discovery. There comes a leap in consciousness. Call it intuition or what you will. The solution comes to you and you don't know how or why. End quote. Quote, a human being experiences himself, his thoughts and feelings as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion, to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty." End quote. Quote, our separation from each other is an optical illusion. End quote. Quote, when something vibrates, the electrons of the entire universe resonate with it. Everything is connected. The greatest tragedy of human existence is the illusion of separateness. End quote. Quote, we are souls dressed up in sacred biochemical garments, and our bodies are the instruments through which our souls play their music. End quote. Quote, when you examine the lives of the most influential people who have ever walked among us, you discover one thread that winds through them all. They have been aligned first with their spiritual nature and only then with their physical selves. End quote. Quote, the true value of a human being can be found in the degree to which he has attained liberation from the self, end quote. Quote, the ancients knew something which we seem to have forgotten, end quote. Quote, the more I learn of physics, the more I am drawn to metaphysics, end quote. Quote, one thing I have learned in a long life, that all our science measured against reality is primitive and childlike. We still do not know one thousandth of one percent of what nature has revealed to us. It is entirely possible that behind the perception of our senses, worlds are hidden of which we are unaware. End quote. Quote, I'm not an atheist. The problem involved is too vast for our limited minds. We are in the position of a little child entering a huge library filled with books in many languages. The child knows someone must have written those books. End quote. Quote, the common idea that I am an atheist is based on a big mistake. Anyone who interprets my scientific theories this way did not understand them. End quote. Quote, everything is determined for the insect as well as for the star. Human beings, vegetables, or cosmic dust, we all dance to a mysterious tune, intoned in the distance by an invisible piper. End quote. Quote, 
The religion of the future will be a cosmic religion. It will transcend a personal God and avoid dogma and theology, end quote. Quote, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another, end quote. Quote, everything is energy and that is all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics, end quote. Quote, I am happy because I want nothing from anyone. I do not care about money. Decorations, titles, or distinctions mean nothing to me. I do not crave praise. I claim credit for nothing. A happy man is too satisfied with the present to dwell too much on the future, end quote. So as you hear these quotes from Albert Einstein, it definitely makes him stick out as far as who his character was versus what the mainstream paints Einstein as. I found the Electric Universe roughly a decade ago, and before that, all I had to compare with was the mainstream cosmology model and everything I was taught to believe in school, and then all of the religious dogma that I was taught growing up in church. Finding that people that are held so high up above all others have this self-recognition of their own character and humility and humbleness just goes to show that you can't believe everything that you read on the internet or hear in a magazine, see in a movie, watch on a special, hear from your friend. I take everything with a grain of salt. If it doesn't make sense to me, I put it aside. Sometimes I find that some other information in the future ties back together something that didn't make sense because I didn't understand it. I realize at one point in my life, I was that child in that vast library. And not too long ago, I started reading as many books and learning as many languages as I could. I studied world mythology, broke out of my own religion and started studying world religions, world history, geology, physics, plasma, electrical theory, and comparing sources from all over the world from all times. I guess what I'm saying is, at one point in time, I started leaning towards the group that was saying Einstein was a farce. After reading all of these archives that Velikovsky wrote back and forth and met with Einstein, and they discussed their theories in private, I found out that Einstein is a, a real human with his own thoughts and his own feelings. Just because those things didn't make it into our history books doesn't mean he was any less of a man. So I'll part with that the legacy of Einstein should be looked at in a different form as far as the EU group is concerned. Just like many EU heretics at one point were part of the mainstream, they broke off. And just because the mainstream pushed them out doesn't mean they're any less of a person and that their theories are any less wrong. So I say this. Consider all things. Be open to new knowledge, old knowledge, and comparing everything. And if you find yourself questioning something deep down, research it. Don't take anybody else's word for it, especially not mine.